sure to like, subscribe, and also be sure to share this video and to follow my Twitter at Afroboy underscore. Let's get into this video. What is good, YouTube? You're kicking in with Afroboy here, and in today's video, we got some PlayStation news for you, all right? The update 4.0 is about to drop for PlayStation 4, all right? So I'm going to tell you everything that's in it and also show you pictures, what Sony has released, showing what it's going to look like, all right? So basically, there's going to be a UI refresh. So basically, the main user interface on a PlayStation, you would notice some changes to it as there would be um, new backgrounds, you know, they revised the What's New tab and also some smaller changes to the pop-up notification. So that's like one of the small things, you know, the, the UI refresh. Now, one of the big things that they did is they redid the quick menu. Now, you know what the quick menu is. You probably didn't think it was pretty quick because of, you know, of how useless it was, kind of, unless you're trying to turn off your PS4, unless you're trying to adjust something. But when you hold the, um, let me show you right here. When you hold the, the button, the PlayStation button on the, PS4, you notice that it takes you to this big menu that fills up the screen. You can't see the game no more. You know, the power off um, it has a power off adjustments to devices such as the controller and other devices. So basically, they took that out and they pretty much redid it and they made it smaller. So now it's actually a quick menu. It doesn't cover the whole screen. You can actually still see the game. And they also added multiple things to it also. So now you can see the online status of your friends in that quick menu you can see the favorite groups you know my communities and also close the application to do all the other stuff you could but they just made it smaller and they made it better like now you, you don't have to go to the actual um main interface of the playstation in order to see who's online and everything you just see it right there and you can also see what's going on in the game so you won't get killed as much you know as much because you know what now you can see what's going on I don't know, maybe it seemed like, nah, you probably not going to be able to do that if you was able to actually still play the game while the quick menu was up. I know they're not going to be able to do that. You know, you're probably just going to be able to still see the game and just go out of it. They also made it faster. So, you know, before, you know, it takes a long time for it to pop up. You know, they made it faster. So hopefully it is faster. Um, the beta, it just like I said, is releasing sometime from now. I don't know when. I don't know if it's out today or what, but I signed up for the beta program. Um, I don't know if you still can. I, if I, if you still can, the link will be in the description for you to sign up for it. But I don't know if you still can. But that's pretty much the quick menu. All right. They also turned the share menu into also like a quick menu. So now it doesn't cover the screen just like the quick menu. So the share menu was also on the side, and you can do all the rest of stuff. You know, the um, upload the video clips. You know, screenshot, start share play, broadcast gameplay. You know, it's just like every every other thing the broadcast settings and everything. But it's just that it's smaller and it doesn't carry um, cover the screen. You can see the game and also edit the stuff, you know, with the share menu, you know, do what you, you got to do. All right. So basically, you know what I'm saying? You press the share button. It pops up the little half quick menu share button. It's a lot faster than it was. It only covers a portion of the stream, just like I said. And it says it will save the last social network you shared videos, clip or screenshot to making the process of sharing a screenshot a video a bit faster and more streamlined so from right there you can automatically just upload the video that you just recorded you know just straight to wherever you want to upload it to twitter or whatever social media you want to you know that's good for me because i do do gaming videos so that's easy for me just to upload to youtube then from youtube download it to my computer edit it and then re-upload it you know that's that's how i do it you feel me okay they also added some folders and libraries now the folder and library i'm not too excited for them, I'm guessing some people are, but I'm not too excited for you know. It, if you want to make a folder, put all your favorite games in there, and then you can just go in the folder and you know pick whatever game you can put different stuff in there. You know, just like um PS3 folders, but you know now it's on PS4. So you know if you like that, if you're into more, if you're more of an organized person, then you can go ahead and do that now because Sony has added it back to the play. Well, added it to the PlayStation 4. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so um, also they have some trophy improvements. Now you can see trophies offline. You don't have to be connected to the internet to compare your trophies with other people. So that's uh, actually a good thing because it does take a long time for the trophies to load up if you ever try to do the trophies because it has to sync everything. I used to hate that. That's why I never used to really, you know, 
look at trophies and I kind of, I really don't really care about trophies as long as I can play the game. But you know, some people out there, they care about trophies and I'm not down to you for that. If you like trophies, you know, you like a little more of a challenge, you go ahead and do that. All right, so yeah, and then they updated, um, updated the user profile, making it easier to see relevant, you know, player glance. So I'm guessing, so now the user profile doesn't cover the whole, well, the user profile didn't use, it covered the whole screen, but you can still see what's going on in the game. But now I guess they did it kind of like, maybe like one fourth of the screen, like two fourths of the screen, you know, who knows, you know, covering the screen, you can kind of still see the game, but it's not covering as much as it did. So they pretty much made everything so that you can now still see what's going on in the game and also do what you gotta do. You know, whatever you gotta do, you know, do what you gotta do. Do it quicker, do it faster, without having to go to the main interface or having a big screen pop up and block the game. You don't know what's going on. You come back to the game and you're freaking dead or something like that. So, be sure to like this video. And also, if you're new, be sure to subscribe, share the video, and tell me in the comments what you think about this new update and also, if you're gonna sign up for the beta, if it's still available. Just like I said, if it is available, the link will be in the description. It's the one of the Afro Boy, and I'm out. Peace.